Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie, and if you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you're here and hope you'll consider subscribing if you enjoyed today's video. And if you're back, welcome back. I'm glad you're here too. So today I am hopping on to share a post review with you guys of a kit that has actually not made any kind of appearance on my channel with the exception of uh, the month in review that I had done. For the month of March. So I did finish this. Uh, this is my most recent finish at the time of filming. And uh, this was a kit that only took me a few days to complete. And I started and finished it in between my whip and chats, which is why you haven't had the chance to see it yet. Um, so let's get right into it. This adorable kit that I got to finish. This is Quirky Fox. Isn't isn't he a quirky fox? <laughs> That's such a perfect name for this adorable, adorable fox. I love it. So uh, this is from the artist Willowing Arts and is licensed uh, by the company that's, their name now is Mindfulness Diamond Painting. At the time that I purchased this kit, which was last summer, I wanna say June or July, uh, the the company had a different name. It was Diamond Painting Factory UK, which or Diamond Painting Fa yeah .co .uk, which you can see under the washi tape there. That's why the, the that branding is what it is. So I have not purchased from the company since I purchased this kit. So please do keep that in mind if you're watching this post review and using it as a gauge for if you want to purchase from this company. As a general rule, I recommend that you don't use just one person's review of a company as your standard for whether or not you want to order from them. I think it's important to take into context the date that they had ordered because lots of companies take into account feedback and make changes that are, for, you know, hopefully for the better. <laughs> um, and it's also important just to hear different people's experiences uh, because people can have really different experiences and opinions from a company. So I do just wanna give that caveat up front because like I said, I don't wanna be misleading anyone because not only did I purchase this kit almost a year ago, I mean nine months ago, um, this kit isn't even listed on the website any longer to purchase. There's several other really beautiful pieces from this same artist that I really would love to check out. Um, but just to give you a heads up, this particular piece is not on the website. I don't know, maybe they'll be bringing it back. Um, I'd be really, really curious to see what kinds of changes they've made besides just their name. So let's get into more about this kit. So. Uh, this is 40 by 50 centimeters, which is kind of snack sizey for me at least. It has 25 colors, which I think really was perfect for this kit. And I chose to go with round drills. When I purchased this kit, I had the option of choosing, I want to say there were a few different sizes. And I know that I was able to choose if I wanted round or square drills. And for this one, I had decided to go with round. Um, this took me just a few days to complete. and. You guys, there is so much that I loved about this kit. Now I have a soft spot for foxes and I really love these vibrant, beautiful color combos of the pinks and oranges and blues that just flow into each other so beautifully. And really one of my very favorite parts about this kit is something I have seen in one other kit that I've worked on and finished before. And um, I saw this in the kit Dawn from Distracted by Diamonds, which I did do a post review on here on my channel way back early on, <laughs> shortly after I first started. So um, <laughs> disclaimer, I don't know what the quality is like on that video <laughs> as far as the production value, but the, the information holds true. I loved that kit. But one of my favorite things about that kit is also one of my favorite things about this kit. So. Um, a good spot to show you would be, let's look at the fox's face. So if you look at his mouth, you notice that if you just look at the drills, um, you know, they're this color and it kind of gives that shape. But if you look underneath the drills and you can see on the canvas is printed these black lines that are giving more shape to the mouth. You could see it in the whiskers making lines. 
You can see it in the crown up here with making those straight lines. Um, you can really see it in the wings on the side because I feel like, so I feel like if the canvas weren't printed this way, if it were just, I don't know, if it didn't have the distinct lines as opposed to just the like kind of blocks of color of whatever color drill is on top of it, I just think that this would be really blurry. I don't think we would have nearly the same effect. So the end, the finished effect of that is we get so much more detail and so much more nuance than we would if that weren't there. Or frankly, if this were a square drill kit, I really, really wonder what this would have been like as a square drill kit because square drills will, once they're all down, you're not gonna see the canvas underneath. Like there's no benefit to them having these printed lines on here um, when the drills are just gonna cover it up completely. So suffice it to say, I'm really happy I got this one in round drills. I've said that a million times now, but um, I'm curious if this is still something that they do with their kits. I hope it is because like I said, I love the way that it, it lets them sort of round out the edges and just smooth it out really beautifully and then add these tiny details that would be impossible to get otherwise unless it were a much, much larger kit. So for a 40 by 50, I'm super impressed. <laughs> I love all the details. Again, you got like the, excuse me, the vines on his haunches and this housing and vines on his tail. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so adorable. Now, other things that I loved, the drill quality was fantastic. Virtually no trash. Um, the occasional drill with like a little hole on top that happens sometimes in production. There were plenty, plenty enough for me to finish. I love the vibrant colors overall, and I love that this company is licensing their artwork from artists. Um, there were a couple of symbols on here that were a little bit similar to one another, but not at all too difficult to distinguish between. I think there were a couple of like dark blues. Let's, let me check here. Yeah, they were just slightly similar. There was a, um, here we go. I don't know if it's really gonna show up in camera. There was this dark E and then the lowercase D and then this lowercase E. So these two here and then that one up there. Just a little similar, but it wasn't hard. <laughs> it wasn't hard to make out. Basically that dark E was, just looked like a bunch of really dark blue, but then the other two symbols were really easy to distinguish. So I hope that they're using the same sort of printing process and you know rendering software because I think that worked really well for this kit. Um, so what are my kind of final thoughts and overall sort of impressions? I really, really badly want to try this company again. Um, I'm gonna try to do some digging myself. I'd love to find some recent reviews um, from people that have purchased from them recently. I'd love to see unboxings and some post reviews as well to see how they turn out. Um, so I'm gonna do my own additional research before I buy from them again, but I, I really, really hope that things are similar to this because this was lovely. I really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> I have one more kit from that order in my stash that's in square drills from the same artist, but a really different kind of art from her. So I am curious to see how that one turns out and I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. But um, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. If you are a creator, if you have an Instagram and you have ordered from Mindfulness Diamond Painting, formerly diamondpaintingfactory.co.uk, um, please let me know. You can, if you don't feel comfortable leaving it in the comments below, you can also uh, shoot me a message over on Instagram or I have my email in the description box of this as well. Um, and feel free to share your experience, like very filter free. That's fine with me. Um, I Or if you have a video up or posts on Instagram, feel free to share as much in the comments or message me as well. Um, as always, let's keep it really respectful and polite because again, we all can have really different experiences and that doesn't make any of them less valid. So um, anyway, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this super super cute fox friend we have here 
Look at those eyes. In retrospect, I'm like, I totally could have gotten a couple of sparklers and just added that extra sparkle. I love this kit so much. If my oldest were still like a baby and we still had like fox everything in his room, this would probably be the first diamond painting that I actually did frame and put up because I love it. I love the style of it. I love the way it turned out. So, so fun. Okay. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, both on this kit, on the company if you purchased from them, either in the past or recently. Um, and of course, any questions, comments, concerns you have, leave those in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If this video is helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up before you click away. And if you're not already subscribed and want to see more content like this, um, including unboxings and tips and tricks videos and whipping chats and the occasional live, feel free to hit the subscribe button and even the bell to be notified when I do share new content. So I hope you're all having a really wonderful week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye friends.